Welcome back to the course. In previous one we changed the controllers. I added extra controller off the screen. With same technique I shown you. Just a shape are different. Also change the controllers for these accessories. This foot controller is above the ground. We can change that from viewport display. Decrease the Z axis value. You can type the value manually. We can use the same value to the other side. Select this then shift select this one. Since we have this bonus active one. We have its properties on side. Hover over to this Z value. Right click, copy single to select it. That looks better. When we generate the Rigify rig, this is very common issue we get. As you can see these controllers are twisted. Middle one looks fine but other need to be fixed. Switch the orientation to local. Then try to rotate these controller. Here's the gizmo looks tilted. If you rotate them, it just doesn't go as it should. We want to make these controller flat like the middle one. But it's not the same way as we did for the controller bone. In previous part. Then how do we do that? For this, we are not only fixing this one controller. But we have to fix the whole bone chain of this. That include these D, F, M, C, H, and O, R, G bones. So make sure you enable all the bone collections from this. Go to Object Properties, change the display as to wire. If you look at these finger bones, they are twisted. And we want to fix this. If you remember, we did the same with Guide Bone. Let's turn on the symmetry. So we only need to do in one side. Select all these index bones. Turn on the axis to know where to twist. Let me isolate the selected bone to explain it better. We can see the Z-axis going this way. And the X-axis to this way. And this orientation is not good. We want the X-axis to go this way.
the z-axis will go this way. Rotate these with Ctrl plus R. Use Alt plus H to unhide. Now select these index bones again. Control plus R to rotate them. Just try to align them with mesh itself. Switch to pose mode. The orientation of these index bones have been fixed. Here you can see how these were before. You can rotate this main controller which now working how it should be. We will do the same on these ring and pinky bones. As we can see the orientation of these bones have been fixed. It also rotate properly. You can scale them down at once to make a fist. The thumb looks good. But we can still do minor adjustment. Let's try to align this main controller to the thumb. Either way, if you want these controllers to be shorter, go to edit mode, then scale down the main controller. Set the pivot point as individual point. We can scale down these controller as well. Make sure you are doing this in edit mode. Since we had symmetry on, everything is mirrored to right side. You can check if it's working or not. Sometime, if the bone's orientation misaligned, it can rotate weirdly. But everything seems fine. When generating the Rigify rig, finger twists are very common in my experience. Other bones and controllers usually doesn't require much fixing. But you can check and do any minor changes needed. While doing, make sure to select all the related bones. ORG, MCH, DEF and main controller bones. Then do the twist or anything needed. Cause there are constraints being using. To create a mechanism. So just select all related bones whenever you have to edit them. Rotate these hand bones. I like to keep these bones straight. I mean flat like this from orthographic view. 
If you look at to the arm bone, it is tilted a bit. It is not that bad, but we can try our best to make as good as possible. Select all these arm bones, then Ctrl plus R to twist. This alignment looks much better. I think everything else is looking good. So we will end this part here. In the next part we will start weight painting. So I'll see you in the next one.